Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 3 of our uh, Final Fantasy X uh, walkthrough. So, hope everybody's doing alright today. So, in today's episode, last time I left you, we had just gotten to Besaid Village, met Waka, uh, we met Riku, and then sent attack the boat, and uh, washed us up on the shore on uh, Besaid Island here. Besaid, and uh, we met Waka on the beach, he found us, and then he led us here to the village of Besaid. Now, uh, we're in the Crusader's Lodge. That's where we saved. It's where we stopped. Uh, before uh, before we ended last episode, I said one of the things we were going to do was talk to Luzu and Gata here. So we're going to talk to them. Um, we're also going to meet the Temple Summoner in this episode. Uh, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. Not sure what else we're going to do, but uh, let's go ahead and see what these two guys have to say right here. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir. The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting Sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Alright, so, as you can see, the Crusaders have been fighting for 800 years. Haven't been able to, uh, find a way to defeat Sin. As a matter of fact, nobody's been able to defeat Sin. So, they told us to go pray to the Temple Summoner, try and remember something which, of course, we know that Titus isn't going to be able to. But they don't know that, and starting to feel a little sorry for the guy having to keep using the same excuse over and over again, and it's not true. So uh, let's go ahead and head on up to the uh, up to the temple, see what we got going on up here. And then, of course, they mentioned uh, Yevon again, and Yevon, I guess you could kind of tell from what he said there, Yevon is like the the religious sect of this world. So let's go ahead and head on to the temple here and see what's we'll see what's happening. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. So here's the temple. We've got these big statues that were here when we walked in. Um, I think we're about to find out about them. Let's go ahead and head over this way. Ten years have passed since Lord Brasco became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Well, what's a High Summoner? Uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Aww. 
It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Alright, so we learned about the High Summoners there. They're, they're priests, in a sense. Um, I don't know if priests are the right word. They would be kind of like a like a cardinal-type figure, if you're talking about like Christianity. Um, they're warriors, mages. Uh, Lord Broska here. We're going to learn more about him as the game moves along. But um, let's go ahead and check these rooms out. There might be some items. Might be some items in here for us to pick up. I can't remember. Let's see what this guy's talking about. Even searching the scriptures of Yevon, I have found no cure for sin's toxin. May the blessings of Yevon guide you to health, friend. Well, I thought he was going to give us something. I guess not. Usually when they say things like that, they'll give you uh, some kind of healing item. But he didn't. I've never noticed these statues, well, what they look like before. Those are kind of creepy old men. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head on over this side. See if we got any items to pick up in here. Uh, we do not. Okay, so no items. So let's go ahead and try and uh, head up into the temple here. Head up the stairs. See what see what's going on. Okay, so we can't go in there. So let's go ahead and head back out. Oh, what does this girl have to say? Yevon's teachings are our staff and our guide in life. Without the teachings, we just live every day in fear of sin. Okay, I can see, I can see kind of the Christian leanings, in a sense, within the uh, within the Yevon religion in this game. So let's go see what's going on with Waka. Let's go to Waka's hut here. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. So I guess we'll go ahead and take a nap. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been real. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. So we keep getting these flashbacks here with Titus. Um, obviously that was a flashback to when Jekt disappeared. Uh, disappeared when Titus was a child. That was, uh, that was Titus's, I think I just called him Titus. That was Titus's mother there. So, uh, let's see if we can find Waka here. Let's head back up onto the temple. That was the priest that had come down to talk to, uh, talk to Waka, so I'm sure this is where they headed. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. 
A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. So, there's T. That's always finding ways to uh, cause some trouble in the world here. <laughs> So the Cloister of, tri of Trials, those who seek to learn of Yevon's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the Chamber of, Fa of the Faith. Examine objects with X to open the way now. These are in every temple. A strange glyph glows. Say that three to five times fast. Strange glyph glows. <laughs> strange glyph glows. Strange glyph glows. Already messed up. So, these are like little puzzle type things within the, uh, within the temples. Now, there's always little things like this that you have to do. Go ahead and touch the glyph here. Should open this wall up. Um, there's also a special item in each one, and that kind of affects... It, it not only does it give you a special item, it affects uh, something later on in the game, which we'll get to. So let's go ahead and examine this. You must use a sphere to go any further. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasures, which I was just discussing. And it seems that Besaid spheres are also necessary. Now, each temple you go to, it'll be something other than a Besaid. It'll just be whatever the name of the temple, the temple sphere, the, the so-and-so sphere is what it'll be called. It's not always going to be Besaid sphere. So this is a Glyph sphere. You can carry only one sphere at a time. So that means a lot of backtracking, a lot of going back and forth. Let's go ahead and insert this Glyph sphere into this door here. open that up for us. Now we're going to have to come back and use this later on, but I'm going to go ahead and go forward right now. Um, actually, I do need that. I need it for this wall, I believe. Was that right? It was right. Okay, good. Let's see what kind of sphere we got in this room here. Destruction Sphere now. If you remember, these are the ones that open the pathways to to um, special items. Uh, that we need to put the Destruction Sphere here first. I thought. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. Open that up. And that's a powerful sphere. Uh, we do need, we take, need to take the Destruction Sphere out from here first. Head back this way. Find a spot to put it in. We'll come back for that in a second. Okay, let's go over here and get this... Is it a Glyph or Besaid? A Besaid Sphere. Okay. All the lights go out. Okay, so let's take this here. I know this goes here. And as you progress along the different temples, um, these get a little bit harder as you move along. Mm, this one's pretty straightforward and simple. Move the pedestal set with a sphere to the correct place. If you move it improperly, step on the shining glyph to return the pedals to, pedestal to its original place. So, let me head back this way because I need to get the destruction sphere now. Destruction sphere here. Need to insert that. Okay, insert a destruction sphere. And as you will see here any second now, I'm gonna pop this wall on open. And there is a treasure chest tre treasure chest behind it. Let's go see what we got out of there. Obtained Rod of Wisdom, okay? You can obtain hidden items by using Destruction Spheres. And like I said, this is also going to affect something later in the game. So let's go ahead to the pedestal here. We just need to push this forward. Trigger this cutscene. Hey! It's got 
gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse. And who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. I is the summoner all right? <gasps> Who are you? Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. And here we just got introduced to Yuna, our lady summoner. <laughs> um, she's awesome. Uh, we, also uh, we also saw two other main characters there. Lulu and Kimari. He's the, the blue... Ronzo is what they're called. It's the species called the Ronzo. I'm not sure what even what animal you would compare them to, like a like a lion. I guess would be the closest thing, a lion with a horn. But yeah, Yuna is is the summoner of the game. I'm not sure if you guys were well. I don't know. I don't know if you were expecting it to be somebody like her. But let's go down here and see what she's uh what she's got going on. See this? I can't see anything. Ready. Okay.
I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Okay, so that was the introduction to our first, I almost called it Eidolon, I still got Warframe in my mind. And that's, this is our first Aeon, Valifor. Now I'm going to keep all the Aeon names the same. Um, we're going to get more and more of those as we move along in the story. That night, we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Like I was saying, we're going to see more of those as we move along the story. The uh, this guy Blockus here, just introducing Tidus to the so team bad. here, so... Him on the team. Yeah, we're going to see more of those. The Aeons are really awesome. The, the animations of them and their fuzzy, designs. So their designs are amazing. Come on, say hi. Really, really cool individual designs. I know there's been some cool form of summoning in most Final Fantasy games. Uh, hi guys. I really like the I really like the Aeons in this. I think they're really cool. So what's our goal? Uh, there's even some like special Dude, hidden Aeons you can get, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and get now. all of them. Our I'm going to try and get every every Aeon in the game because those aren't super hard. Those those, those aren't super hard to get. To bring the crystal pretty easy, really. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, yeah. Huh? Let's do it, Waka. Victory. 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 So, we got the uh, got the spirit up for the boys here. Let's so talk to Yuna for the first time. Let's go talk to her. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! Well, they don't like You're me very much. Man. Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um... I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. She's cute, yeah? Oh yeah, she's cute. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? I think she just was. Yuna's falling hard already. That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. So there's really not much else to do. You try and get close to Yuna again, Stay and they start screaming the at you. So we're going to go ahead and take that bed for Waka. And something else, looking at Lu the way Lulu looks, I'm sure you guys can already tell what role she's going to play in this game. Mm, ready for bed. Let's go ahead and go to bed. Good. Sleep tight. Tita's having a nice little dream here. You know? Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. You really sure this is okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Hey! You said you 
said you'd go with me. Oh, Tatus is torn. Oh, hey, I, uh... I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Jack being his usual self. Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it. I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. What do we got going on out here? I always love this shot right here. He does look a lot like Chucky. I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chucky. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. But I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full-time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really... Help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Alright, so we learned about Chapu there. Uh, Waka's brother. And go ahead and save the game really fast. Cool little angle shot, little cool little shot down the the walkway here. Now, if I hadn't uh, in uh, if I hadn't uploaded the Albud primers, there would be one on the edge of this desk you could pick up, but it's not there obviously because we've already uh, already got them all. So we're gonna go ahead and head outside here. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Cool Whoa. looking sword. You're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago. When the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. 
Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. All right, getting right ahead off here. Got to make a way, uh, make our way over to the boat. Let's head on up here. We're gonna get some tutorial type stuff coming up here. Here comes one now. So. It's going to be kind of a tutorial, and it's going to kind of explain what everybody can do. So, Titus, being the type of character he is, he's going to get a lot of the speedier things, be able to hit. His no accuracy is going to be super high. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. And obviously, Waka, with his ball, is going to get a lot of the flying-type monsters. A flyer. My kind monsters of that are out of reach, things like that. Sphere level. We even got some items and some gill for that. Let's keep heading, heading on up the hill here. You're going to learn about Lulu, who I'm sure a lot of you, judging by seeing her, have already guessed what she's like or what, what role she plays. That looks like trouble. Ha! Watch this! Ah, Titus' confidence. Only match gonna get you in trouble. Thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? So, Lulu is obviously the black show mage. Show you what I mean. Lou, you're up. Clues Her 10,000 belts. And you can see what weapon she uses. I've always loved that. Elements. Magic and fiends have properties called elements. There are four. Fire, ice, lightning, and water. Fire and ice are opposed, as are lightning Spells and water. Of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means water fiend. So we need to do some. Uh, we need to do some thunder. There we go. Got rid of the flan there, pretty easy. Got us a little monosphere. All right. Who did a sphere level? Let's see what Waka can uh, move him forward. We got a speed, a speed sphere. Agility by two. Agility by two. All right. Let's keep heading on up the hill here. See uh, what else we can get into. It's a cool, oh, cool overlook shot there. The detail is really nice. Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? <laughs> What's going on? All right. So we got little options here. I've never quite custom. figured out even the island, pray here if they make a difference. Trip. I think it's just like a little side cutscene type Jabu. thing. They this happens a day. couple times where you walk up Say to something and you can boat. pray at it if you want. Everyone's praying. I'm standing there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to pray this time. That should do it. I'm going to play it safe. It might even make me an extra save file right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. An extra save file. Alright. Let's keep heading with the red arrow here. Really good introduction right here.
Okay, so let's get into this fight. Just kind of whack on each other a little bit. And I'll kind of explain Kimari here in a minute. That didn't feel good. Okay, I was worried. I'd That's never seen my health go that like that. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since Anybody I Anybody else child. notice that? Yuna's uh, two uh, different colored eyes. Really cool. So that was Kimari. Um, the thing about Kimari is he's kind of like a blue mage in this game. Oh, right. Oh, right, right. The equipment. Um, let's see if I have anything to equip. So I got the Brotherhood equipped for Titus. Yuna, the Rod of Wisdom goes with her. Magic plus five, magic plus three sensor. Now, way later on in the game, not way later on, but a ways on in the game, uh, we're going to come to a point where we can start modding certain things and see how these ability spots are. I'm going to put the Cactuar scope on Lulu. How, how like the ability bar there is, is, in, is blank. You can add abilities on and things with items uh, later on, and we're going to get into that and that starts getting really really fun being able to add different effects on like death touch and all kinds of cool little things let's keep heading along the uh, pathway here cool looking waterfall uh, okay a flyer that's your department right true true but uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of uh, press L1 during battle to switch in a character who's not currently being used. Just switch them in and they're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and switch Yuna in. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. We're going to get our first Aeon, uh, taste of Aeon action right here. And this just tells you how to summon. Uh, when Aeons take damage, uh, their HP decreases. Should their HP reach zero, they will leave battle and become unavailable for a time. Aeons recover HP at safe spheres. So if it dies, it doesn't really do anything to it. It's just, just, it goes away for a while and then you can summon it again later on. The uh, summoning animations were really cool. All right, so, uh, the Aeon, well, this Aeon, Valifor in particular, knows the three basics. Um, Sonic Wings, which gives us an extra turn. Let's go ahead and do uh, some Sonic Wings here. Sonic Boom kind of has the same effect. Being an Aeon, it won't really affect me in that way. Let's go ahead and throw some Thunder at this thing. I'm going to try and get the Overdrive Gauge up for Valifor all the way so that I can use its uh, special uh, or its Overdrive move. Try and get that Overkill on the enemy. Let's go and hit it with some sonic wings again. Okay. Try to whittle its health down. One more thunder. And will we be... If it hits us, will we be full? We are. Okay, we dodged good. Let's go ahead and do a energy ray for Valifor. Wow, okay. I can't believe we didn't get the overkill, but alright. that I don't understand why we didn't get the overkill there. It kind of makes me a little mad. So, there's obviously going to be different enemies in different areas. Uh, we can do a couple battles along the way here. Try and rack up a couple spheres. Get a couple sphere levels, maybe. 
I might do grinding off screen. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, yeah? Say uh, when I start doing grinding in certain spots, I might do it off screen because I know that probably be kind of boring for you guys. So I'll just have to kind of think about what I want to do there. Go ahead and hit it with uh, some thunder from Lulu. Go ahead and defend with Yuna once just in case I take her out and never uh, bring her back in again. That way she can get some experience. Like I said, uh, like we talked about, uh, every single person has to do something in a battle to get experience from it. So I always try and, you know, bring people in to at least defend, just just hit a defend once, and then they'll get the, you know, the same amount of experience as everyone else, which is really cool. And we saw one of Waka's special attacks, which was this dark attack, which put dark on the enemy, um, so that it, uh, like, lowered its accuracy by quite a bit, so that's why it's having some trouble hitting us here. Instead of dark attack, we're just going to hit it again with Waka, go ahead and kill it. So we should get a decent amount of experience here. I mean, at least a decent amount. Eight each. That's not too bad. Uh, got an enchanted rod and a power sphere there. Let's see if we can counter anything else along the road. I am not going to grind here. Um, let's go ahead and take out this uh, enemy. We got us an overkill. Good. We needed that. Another overkill. Okay, I'm going to bring Yuna in. And has she learned the gnolls? No, she hasn't learned the gnolls, so she's just going to defend. Okay. Finish it off with the thunder here. And like I was saying, the overdrive gauges... There's other ways to fill them up. You just got to end up, you know, going through the throughout the game. And you'll end up learning some different ways to do those. But those overkills, see, they got us each an additional sphere and some additional experience. Go ahead and keep following the red arrow here. This is where we were earlier, obviously. This is where we came in with Waka. Now, running along here, um, talk to as many people as you can. We're gonna have stuff for you. We'll miss Lady Yuna. Come back soon, yeah. Lady Yuna, don't forget me, okay? Uh, I'll be good while you're gone, I promise. Here, take this. Daddy says it's an offering. We got a, a remedy. Wow, okay, those are always nice. When are you going on that big boat? Okay, so she didn't give us anything. This lady. I knew this time would come someday, I knew. She's talking to Yuna. Let's talk to this guy. Here, a farewell gift from all the village, 400 gil. We'll to talk to him up here. What does this guy have to say? Nothing? I won't cry. Okay. May Evan's blessings be with our coming on our pilgrimage here, a gift from the temple. Uh, Seeker's Ring, okay. Please watch over Lady Yuna here, have this, you may find use for it. Phoenix down, wow, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on the boat. And... We are off. We're heading on to, uh, on to the next area of the game. They're all really sad to see Yuna go. Aww. Oh, the little boy's crying. Goodbye. The always graceful Yuna. Heading out onto the ocean. You know what happened last time Titus was out on the ocean. Hey guys, so uh, this these next two videos are gonna end and start really odd. Um, when I first record when I recorded it, I didn't realize exactly how long it was going. I knew it was a long time. But I didn't realize that it was going to be over an hour. So what I'm going to do is, is this is this is going to be the <clears throat> this is going to be the ending, like the the outro for this first video here. So I guess what I'm going to say is, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment down in the comment section anything you you know you want to talk about or any questions you have about the game or me or anything. And um, 
So we're gonna end this one here, and then when the next one picks up, it's gonna be kind of kind of an odd. It's gonna be kind of an odd start because it's just gonna jump into me talking. So I just wanted to let everybody know that that's watching this that I had to cut here to make the video about the right length, and then the next one's gonna come in, and I'll probably do an intro for that one where it's gonna come in to me. I'll do my intro, and then it'll just cut to me talking in the game. So, hope you guys have a good day, and enjoyed this video, and see you later.